When Tom Stoltman bent down to prize the 210 kilo Atlas Stone from the ground, the last lift in the final event in a week of challenges designed to test the upper limits of human strength, the 27-year-old Scotsman looked over to see that he had beaten his closest rival, making him the world's strongest man. As he collapsed to the ground, the first man to join him in celebration was fellow competitor and Tom's older brother, Luke. The first person to share the moment with the victory with was Luke. Tuddle, you know, Tuddle dropped to her knees, said a few things, and that, you know, that was the kind of most special moment ever. And, you know, special moment years in the making, but one Stoltman knew back in 2019 was going to happen. Well, I put pressure on myself. I win it in two years' time. I want to get podium next year, then win it the year after, so a three-year plan is in place. Stoltman's plan was part of a promise he had made to his dying mother, who passed away from cancer in 2016. I made a promise to my mum before she passed away that I would win World's Strongest Man for her and also be kind of a gentleman and a man outside of the sport as well. Well, I kept that promise to my mum and won it. She would have been screaming, you know, she would have been going absolute mental. She's my biggest fan, so yeah, she would have been screaming from heaven. Tom's achievement is even more impressive when you consider that he was diagnosed with autism when he was five years old. Throughout his childhood, he had found it difficult to fit in until a pivotal moment in his teenage years when he decided to open up about his struggles. Something just clicked in my brain when I was like to one of my support teachers. That I was like, I, I just want to tell my mates. So yeah, I kind of stood up and took like my seven or eight best mates in our room and said, look, I've got autism. And they said, oh, look, there's no problem at all. We're still going to like you for who you are. And that, that day was when I weight lifted off my shoulders and I felt kind of like normal. I felt like a normal uh, member of society. I felt just normal around people then. And, they all just treated me then the same as them, and that was the day that kind of changed my life was when I was open about having autism. While Stoltman still struggles with autism, he has found a way to use it to his advantage, focusing on weightlifting, training to become the world's strongest man. So I've just got my bling on. What would be your advice to any child with autism? You know, I always say to young kids and parents that have young kids that, you know, to use it as a superpower, you know, we're different, but now we've got something that We've got an advantage now over people that aren't different, that we've got a superpower and they don't. So I always say, say autism is a superpower and use it to your advantage. Will Edmonds, CNN.